All right. So you have a lot of major arcana. So there's a lot of destiny happening in November. Things are going to happen whether you like it or not. Um, it's always going to be how are you going to deal with it. Having the magician pop up, the devil, the fool, judgment, and high priestess in reverse is, is a very, very powerful spread. So let's just start with the magician. Uh, so, and this is in the upright, so this is good. It's ruled by Mercury, which is your sign. I mean, not your sign, your planet. Uh, Mercury rules Virgo. So you're going to actually feel very comfortable in your communication and what you have to say and how you say it. However, I think you're going to get a lot of um, energy um, to speak your mind, to speak your truth. And because of it, you know, you might actually have some arguments with people. Five of Swords is fighting you know, coming into battle with somebody because of what you have to say. But you know you have to do it, and you know that it's what needs to be done, and, and you know how to say it in a way that will be effective. So I don't have any problems with you, um, you know, becoming the winner <laughs> in these arguments. I feel like you're going to come out successful, especially when we have the star here. But it's going to be really uncomfortable, and they're going to pull at some of the... You, your your dark your dark sides, you know things that you like to keep hidden from others. Like the devil showing up next to the magician is, um, you know, warning you: one, do not manipulate, do not bring other people's skeletons out of their closet. If it's it's if it's not to do with you, then you don't need to bring it up. You don't need to be gossiping about others or point fingers at somebody who's not ready to deal with their own their own situation. All right, so. Uh, make sure that when you are, are in arguments, and it will happen in November, uh, it could be with family, and it could be with work. But when arguments come up, not to sink to that level of being like, well, you stole an ice cream when you were five. You know, don't bring up things from the past like that. Deal with the present. Also, the devil is saying that they might be doing that to you, too. They might be pulling up things from the past that you have already reconciled and taken care of and don't even matter anymore. And it's just going to piss you off. It's going to piss you off that they're going to such a low place to try to win this argument. But also understand, like with the fool here, with the fool happening in the middle of the spread, really, and touching the devil, judgment, star, five of swords, and the magician, and five of cups. Like, this is a chance for you to let go of this situation that that kind of, in a way, um, is a thorn in your side. The five of swords showing up is really like, you know, you don't want to deal with this person. You don't want to deal with the situation anymore. You're ready to walk away from it and let it go. And the only way you're going to do that is by staying in your high energy, staying in your high self, and you have so much to walk on your side. And you have to stay honest, and you have to stay clear, because you have judgment here, too. And if you sink to the level of devil, then, man, you know, you're going to have... You're going to have a really tough time. You're going to have a, a super tough time. <laughs> I mean, we have the Ten of Swords here. This is the end of a situation. And if you don't go in the highest of energy, Five of Cups also, you're going to be wishing you did. Okay, this is just like this whole this whole spread, Virgo, is a warning about a huge argument you're going to have in November. And that um, it's, it's going to pull you out of sync with spirit. Okay, High Priestess. It's going to pull you out of, and this is in the reverse too, uh, this is going to pull you out of sync with who you are and where you're going. It's going to throw you off track, and you're going to have to get back up and keep on going. The star keeps shining, you know? And the reason why, you know, I the Five of Cups in reverse from October, coming out of a tough situation, I feel like it's just the residual. It's like, okay, you're finally coming out of this situation in October that felt uh, wrong, that felt, um, that could have even made you sick. And you're finally coming out of it. And now the universe is saying, how badly do you want to come out of it? What are you willing to do to make sure that, you know, that never happens again? 
So you're going to have to speak your mind, be very clear about it, understand that you are super smart, you are super cognizant, you have everything you need in front of you. And yes, you're going to have to say some harsh realities, you're going to have to say some harsh truths. And I mean, we have the King of Sword in reverse here too. And the King of Sword in reverse is, is nasty, man. Like the King of Swords is like the, in my mind, the worst king to have in reverse because they don't care. They don't care. They only care about the bottom dollar. They will do what they need to do to get what they want. And they don't care if it causes anger, sadness, bloodshed. They don't care. And so this person, you cannot argue with this person because they don't care anything about you. They don't, they just care about their own. I mean, this is, this is a sociopath. This is a psychopath. This is a, a really harsh person. They don't care about you. And, and it's an air sign. So it's Aquarius. It's uh, Libra. It's uh, Gemini. But they don't care. And to me, that is the scariest thing is when somebody doesn't have heart, when somebody doesn't feel for other people, they can do some really awful things. So please be careful. And if you know who this person is, it is time to cut ties. Ten of swords. You are coming into your strength. You are coming into your own. Even though you don't believe that you are as strong as you really are, five of cups. Man, you have the magician, devil, fool, judgment, high priestess, the sword. High priestess is in reverse, but it's there. It's ready for you to, to use it when you're ready. All right, and so also with this spread here, the magician, the devil, the fool, judgment, this lovely little L here that's happening from up here down to here. Like he, the devil can be seen as a positive in this too, that you have the hood spot, that you have the, you might just be crazy enough to follow through on your, on what you need to do, that you may just have enough obsession to, to make it Virgo. Like people who succeed have a crazy level of drive, the devil level of drive obsessive like nope there is no failing i will not let failure be an option period and that is the devil obsession keep going keep working keep working it out all right and with the magician it's like no i will succeed i have the power i have what it takes i have something special the magician and i'm going to carry on i'm going to carry through on my journey the fool whether people think I'm crazy or not, Virgo, this is what the spirit in the universe is trying to get to you is that, you know, that crazy idea, that thing you want to do. And I, you know, I don't think this is a relationship month for you. Okay. If you have a relationship, just keep, you know, keep it flowing. If it's a good one, but if you don't, this is not the, the month to really focus on it. Okay to focus on finding a partner. Right now, you have something really special, Virgo. You have something um, that no one else has, and you have to cultivate that and create it and keep it going and leave this mundane path that, you, that you've been on for a while. Let it go. There is something special about Virgos this month, November. You guys are powerful, and you guys are setting... And setting the stage for it. So this is, um, like, I feel like Virgos, you're going to know, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Okay. So let's pull, uh, from the mother wisdom deck for some added guidance. Okay. So tree of life connection. All right, I'll read from the book so that you know what they had in mind. So this is from the perspective of a mother. And, you know, in a way, this makes sense because you are mothering a new 
way of living. You are going down a new road. You are letting go of a situation or a person in November, no matter how hard it is. And, you know, I hope it's this King of Swords. I hope it's this air sign who is doing you wrong. Letting them go is going to open up and alleviate a lot of the situation happening in November. And I feel like you're definitely going to be, like I said, you're going to be arguing with with someone, most likely this King of Swords. But it's this argument and this letting go and this fight that you're going to have is going to cause you to rise up in your own personal power and gain the wherewithal to realize the connection you have to your future and to your destiny. All right. So anyways, the tree of life. And like I said, it's um, from a motherhood um, perspective and we are all mothering something. So motherhood and loneliness seem like unlikely bedfellows. After all, how can someone feel alone when they rarely have a moment to themselves? Nevertheless, we find ourselves at home with Children wondering if the rest of the world has forgotten us. Have we somehow missed an invitation to the secret society of allied mothers? Have old friends written us off because we are homeward bound as they head out for happy hour? Have even have even our partners and family life drifted away, weary of vying with small people for att attention and intimacy? The tree of life symbolizes connection. When you draw this card, it is time to call forth the village and end your exile. All of existence hangs like ripe fruit from the tree of life. One dangling fruit may perceive another as separate from itself, but we see clearly that they are part of the same tree, held up by the same trunk, fed by the same roots. Remedy your isolation by recognizing that you also belong to this world tree, related not just to those like yourself, but also to the entirety of nature's flowering and branching diversity. All right. So this is this really links also with the collective of looking forward, looking within to go without um, or to go out into the outer world, but also this tree of life connection, like this king of swords energy, what could be happening is this king of swords in reverse is, is severing your ties to yourself, to your connection, to your home, to your tribe, trying to keep you separate from your own life, from your own dreams. Do not let anyone separate you from your, your destiny. All right, so it is time to gain back that strength, gain back that know-how, and gain back your tribe. They're there, and they are waiting for you, and you are a strong magi within the tribe. This is a big shift, November, for you. This is going to change. This is going to change your life, Virgo. No November is going to change your life. So, this Virgo, I'm sorry, but this month is so, like, I was hoping that, you know, Annie would start playing the sun would come out tomorrow and it will in December, but you got to go through it still a little bit longer. Okay. Having the tower in the center of Virgo, huge shift, huge change. And I already told you that in November in the November reading, but having the tower come up really shows that and the tower is uh, ruled by Mars actually. Um, so it's a quick shift. It's something that just happens without you even thinking it just, it falls down, something falls apart. And it has this King of Pentacles, you know, is coming in from the beginning of November. So, you know, it could be a breakup with uh, this Earth sign. It could also be that this King of Pentacles comes in purely to knock you off your rocker, you know, knock you down and say, you got to step this game up. You got to step up what you're doing. And if you don't, then, you know, I'm going to have to shake things up a bit. So this this king of pentacles could be an attorney, could be an accountant, could you know, could be a leasing agent, someone who has power over your earthly realm and like you got to step it up because things I'm I'm going to change it on you. I'm changing it on you and if you're not ready then you're going to you're going to lose. Okay? With the two of wands, like I said in the, the November reading, is it's just not the time to really focus on it, okay? Two of wands, like, let's look out, let's see, there's possibilities in the future, but right now it's just not happening. So relationships, if you're looking for a love relationship, you might, you know, of course you might find somebody wonderful, but it just might not have any longevity to it. All right, friends, it also means that everything is pretty stable, too. Two of wands is like, you know, we're good where we are. 
but we have potential in the future. Um, so it's nice to have that kind of stability show up. Um, very sim It's simple uh, with friends and family. Now, you're going to need that because we have the Ten of Swords over here in Mind, Body, Soul. So, um, Virgos, I'm just going to put this out there. And, I, you know, I, I always try to talk to you with love in my heart and uh, to raise you up because I want you to be the best you can be. And I want to do that honestly, okay? But having this Ten of Swords here in the Mind, Body, Soul connection, Virgo, some of you guys are going to have nervous breakdowns in November. Okay, some of you guys are just going to lose it, and it's okay. All right, like I get this feeling very, very strongly that there's there's many Virgos who are just at the end of their rope, and they're going to lose it, and they're going to just have a breakdown. You have to have breakdowns to have breakthroughs. Okay, don't give up. Even though this is going to be hard, even though this is going to be painful, it's, oh, you're going to get through it. You have the world here. And this is in your abundance. Like, you have got to go through this pain, this this deep, soul-wrenching pain, the Tower and the Ten of Swords together in order to learn your lesson to have the world. Okay? The world doesn't come to you without work. The world is ruled by Saturn. And Saturn doesn't do anything. It doesn't give anything for free. you got to work your ass off for it. And that's what you're doing. It's pain. Oh, man. Ten of Swords and the Tower. Come on, Virgo. Darn. Um, and this is all internal. This is emotional. This is, um, this is soul work. This is deep, deep work. So, like, on the surface, you may seem just fine to everyone else, but I know, Virgo, a lot of you guys are like, I'm losing my mind. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I feel like because I'm losing my mind, I can't carry on. Yes, you can. All right, Virgo? Yes, you can. Get, like, I would love Virgos. I'm going to offer, I'm offering this to everyone actually in November is that I'm going to do $10 off all my readings, most likely. But for you guys, I'm going to do 15. So Virgos, you guys get $15 off the readings through November and December because you, like, this is just a tough time. Um, don't tell the other signs, they'll get mad at me. <laughs> but everyone will have their turn, of a little bit of loving. So um, then the Six of Chalices is popping up too. Okay. And this is beautiful. You know, this is in work. And so it's nostalgia. It's being comfortable in what you're doing, being happy with the work you are producing. Uh, and also knowing your, where it came from, like, you know, your roots. Okay. But these two, like, I'm so glad that these two, these two cards are actually more positive and just simple. Once again, Six of Chalices often speaks to the simplicity of yesterday. And so having these two will kind of balances off this major shift and breakdown that's happening. But for the good, we have the world. That is beautiful. But you have to go through the breakdown before you get to the world. And I, and this is also, I just, I got to tell you this, even though I don't want to, this is something most likely you're going to have to go through on your own. You're not going to get a whole lot of support on this. Ah, oh, the God box. Okay, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called the God box. As a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you, you're going to need the divine this month. Ask for divine intervention. Ask for divine guidance. Ask your, you ask your spirit guides to help you out because this is the time when you're really going to need them to hold your hand and, uh, you know, walk you through this. It's, a, it's the best to ask for help. And sometimes you're going to have to ask for help, maybe even from this, you know, pentacles. King of Pentacles is just doing what they feel is correct and right in this earthly realm. They're in their highest vibration. So if you need, you know, if you need help, ask them. But God box, put your worries, put your worries out there, put them out there and then, you know, deal with it day by day. If you feel overwhelmed, take it moment by moment. And every time you feel overwhelmed, ask for help from, from higher, 
ask for help.